Adam, let's try and do one more problem, because otherwise I'm going to be asked about it. I was hoping it was a sensitivity issue. This actually isn't too bad if you know what x to the one-fifth times x to the one-fifth is. Okay, so sensitivity of one is horrible. Let's try four. I don't think it's a sensitivity issue. X to the one-fifth times X to the one-fifth. Is X to the two-fifths. Some people will teach this with U substitution, but I think U substitution makes a person weaker. So I don't like doing it. I actually like just brute force factoring, knowing what things are. So if I want to make an X to the two-fifths, I have to lead each set of parentheses with an X to the one-fifth. And I've taught the U substitution technique years ago. I've kind of given up on it because I, I think it caused more confusion some that it was worth. By the way, there should be maybe two answers. Now, I need factors of 10 that add to negative 9. And they're pretty simple. Uh, they're minus 10 and plus 1. So annoying. That's a zero, believe it or not. I'm going to use that zero product property, the ZPP, if I can even write ZPP. X to the one fifth minus 10 is zero. Or x to the one fifth plus one is zero. I'm going to shift that negative ten over and make it positive. X to the one. This is 10. And now I'm just going to raise both sides to the fifth power because that's the opposite of one fifthing. It's been a while since I raised 10 to the fifth power. But it should be just as simple as adding five zeros. So five or four. Four zeros. I'll double check that. Because if you do 10 squared, you add a zero. So we'll add four zeros to it, and then I'll go push buttons. I've added three, four, five. Let's check my TI 84 because I'm feeling pretty tired today. I came up with a million. It's 100,000. Oh, yeah, it's just the number of exponents, number of zeros. There you go. No breath forgot something. 100,000. All right, this guy, we're just going to shift that positive one over, maybe at some point in time in the near future. It's like my tablet woke up and became a junior.
And I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to counteract that fifth power with a 5 as an exponent. I'm not multiplying it by 5. It is an exponent. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. Notice I'm using parentheses. If you try and do this without parentheses in a calculator, because you don't know what this is, it'll be wrong. Those cancel. And a negative 1 times a negative 1 five times is still negative 1. And boy, that was annoying. Wow, that was bad. I'm going to have to figure out why this is lagging so bad before I do another video.